Oh yeah! What's happening, YouTube? My name is Lucas, aka Macho Mulligan. Today we have episode number six of our Pokemon X Ernet Lock. Uh, <laughs> this today's video uh, was going to be brought to you by haircuts because, as you can see, I'm a little bit fuzz, a little bit less fuzzy on top than I was last time you saw me. But instead, we're making today's topic of the day: losing your train of thought when you're trying to do an intro for a YouTube video because that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm going to adjust my mic so that the video audio quality is coming out a bit better than it was previously. Or maybe it's the exact same. I don't really know. But we're going to get right into it. We're going to start off with our team recap, introduce the uh, question of the day, and then just get right into it. So we did a little bit of uh, grinding off screen from when you guys last saw the team. Uh, Spuds, our Bulbasaur that we received from the Professor, is now level 14. He has the impish nature to go defense up, special attack down, with Vine Whip, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Poison Powder. We have Lola, the uh, Bumblebee, level 14 now, with the Lonely Nature attack up, defense down, with Double Slap, Quick Attack, Mud Slap, and Leer. And we have Todd, our Breaks, and the most powerful member of our team, with the special defense up, attack down nature, blaze ability with ember, flame charge, scratch, and howl. Anyway, uh, today's question of the day is going to be the best city you have ever been in. And this, I guess, would have been a little better for the last video as we entered Lumio City, but I wanted to do the Kanto starter for that one. So, uh, best city you have ever been in. For me, um, it has to be New York City. <laughs> um... Basically, when I've been there one time with my dad for business, it was just a super amazing place. You know, you can, like, dream about it all you want, and you can, like, think about what New York City is like. But until you've actually been there and been under the lights of the city and kind of, like, all that goes on there, you don't really understand how just truly amazing it is. But that's my answer. If you have an answer, if you have a place that you have really loved that you've gone before, go ahead and leave it in the comments section down below. And uh, we're gonna get this thing started. Is we're gonna go talk to Mr. Bonding. Hey, nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you ever heard about O Powers? The expression of you tells me that you haven't. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. O Powers have mysterious forces of all kinds of useful effects. You can make Pokemon stronger, or even help you get more money. Money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's Bonding time. You received an O-Power from Mr. Bonding. Attack and defense power, nice. Uh, we won't be using O-Powers -pow during... Or bond o powers o powers during this playthrough, uh, just because it's not really fair for a playthrough where it's a Nuzlocke. So, we won't be using them. Uh, I'm, if, <laughs> I imagine that Mr. Bonding's always had like that super fast, excited voice. That's how always how I've imagined him. I don't know how you guys imagine him talking. I know some people that imagine him like talking like a big businessman or something. But we're going to talk to you. Talk to you twice because I couldn't do enough of you the first time. And we're going to step on out to Route 5 for our next encounter. And ooh. Hello, Lucario. Gah! Wait, Lucario? Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you draw something in this boy's aura? Or did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Gah! Huh, well it seems Lucario likes you. You think so? I'm not so sure. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made one take this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with the other one. Maybe he's just been waiting for a trainer to appear that was strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry, I was in such a role I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shaler City Gym Leader. If you collect gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Roll with the punches, because, you know, get that off my screen. She's a fighting type gym leader. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we get a new encounter here in Route 5. I want to dive right into that. I did heal before this, right? Because I'm not trying to do anything. Yep. We're going to lead off with Spuds to hopefully Sleep Powder or something. I know the two encounters I want here. Let's see what we actually end up getting. I'm not going to jinx it by saying what I want. And I get what I want, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, <laughs> getting a Furfru was my second choice for what I wanted from this area. Uh, my first choice that I really wanted was a Pancham. Because I really wanted that dark fighting type when it evolves into Pangoro. But Furfru is a good Pokemon. I don't really care that we have another normal type on the team. Normal types aren't bad. Plus we have two 
fighting type resistances in Breaksin when it fully evolves, being a psychic type, and Spuds, who's a poison type. Both of them resist fighting, so it's not a big deal. Um, but what are we going to do? Let's let's start off with the sleep. Eh, actually, no, let's wait a minute before we do that. Uh, I love Furfru's ability, uh, which is Fur Coat, I think, which um, blah, 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 halves its damage from physical type attacks. You can see that um, Vine Whip does absolutely nothing. So I'm actually going to try and Leech Seed. Oh god, did I get balls? I don't think I got Pokeballs. Oh, I need to figure out how many I have. So we're going to Leech Seed it, just draw a little bit of HP from this thing. But also, Furfru is super good for uh, this style of playthrough because it, when I used it in a similar kind of a thing where I couldn't use healing items, I actually did a Rest Sleep Talk set on it. That way it doesn't need, it can just use Rest in order to heal up. It only has one weakness in fighting, so it's a super good mon to have for that. Um, wonder what, just for the sake of looking, how many Pokeballs do I have? Oh, God, no, we are fine. We have so many Pokeballs. Um, when I was grinding, in case you guys thought I missed some of the items in Lumio City, I did go around getting all the items like the Quick Claws and the, uh, quick, the p uh, different kinds of Pokeballs you can get. So don't worry about that if you thought I was missing anything. Uh, let's go for the Sleep Powder. Using Sand Attack. Oh, this <laughs> Sleep Powder already has really bad accuracy. Oh, but... Spuds must have brought his glasses today because he is on point with the accuracy, hitting that leech seed and that sleep powder in one go. All right. Uh, do I think you're in catching range? Not entirely, but I know the Divine Whip will do not really anything to you, so it's almost not even worth going for it. Um, so you're a luxurious Pokemon. You know, Furfru with the um, Mansion is a luxurious Pokemon. I think you want to be caught in a luxury ball. I'm just going to kind of shimmy Shanga in my computer screen until you go in the ball. Yes. Way to go, Furfru. Welcome to the team. So, oh god, now I have to decide what to name you as Spuds grows up to level 15, getting that experience. Oh, only one level away from being an Ivysaur. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we will get that in this episode. Oh, but Spuds wants to learn takedown. Um, can I get rid of a move for takedown? I guess, like, I don't really plan on using Poison Powder. It just is kind of there because it's more useful than anything else. But at the same time, Takedown, Recoil could be not good at all. Let's see, do I want to maybe have you as, like, kind of a red button style of move? No, no, I don't. Uh, keep old moves because the last thing I really want is to... I don't know if I'm going to move Takedown, yes. last thing I really want is to, like... Uh be at like full health on a mod and it gets a crit and brings me down to like 10 health and then I use takedown not knowing that I was going to get critted and I kill myself. So Furfru the Poodle Pokemon, trimming its fluffy fur not only makes it more elegant but also increases the swiftness of its movements. Yes, I'd love to get a nickname to my cot Furfru. Um, I had a Furfru in a different playthrough that I did um, where I was following the nicknaming theme of fruits and I nicknamed my Furfru Cherry. And it made it all the way through to the Elite Four with me before dying to the champion. Oh, sad times. But anyway, we're going to rock out with Cherry for our nickname for our Furfru, our male Furfru. Find out what its nature is. Find out some things about it. Get to know it on a more personal level. So Cherry, what you rocking with, Cherry? What you doing? Tackle, Growl, Sand Attack, Fur Coat with the, ooh, Attack Up, Special Defense, Down Nature. That's not terrible. It's also got Fur Coat, halves the damage from physical moves, so it takes almost nothing from physical attackers, which is really nice because also, on top of that, it can live fighting type attacks from things that you're not expecting to have a fighting type attack sometimes because, well, it has that almost every single uh, fighting attack save Aura Sphere is physical. So, also having that attack of nature is not bad at all. I don't know when Cherry learns Headbutt off the top of my head, but having Tackle even on it is going to be good for right now. I really like that. Uh, yep, you know what, Cherry is going right onto the team. We're going to move you to the front of the party so that you can start getting some experience. Um, and we're going to put Spuds next to you because I know there's a double battle coming up and I'd like Spuds to get the experience from those two and hopefully evolve into Ivysaur. So, um, Cherry's asleep. We're going to have to run back to the uh, Pokemon Center just to heal it up. Not so much for the health as much as I just want it to be awake. And I don't, if I do have an awakening, I don't feel like wasting it. And if I don't feel like an, if I don't have an awakening, I'm too lazy to check. 
But if you're noticing that we're being a little louder today in the uh, playthrough, it is because not only am I not recording at 11 o'clock at night when everyone's asleep, but I am also alone, so I can yell as loud as I want, and nobody's going to hear me. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I hurt your ears. I'm very sorry. I'm just so enthusiastic that I can just be as loud as I want and not have to worry about anyone coming in and ruining, not ruining, but interrupting the recording, episode two, hashtag dad. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back out into Route 5 and face these little girls and what I believe is a mine and a plusle, which obviously won't be able to do anything to our spuds. I might... Um, is there both special attackers? Ex uh, do they have electric type attacks yet? What level are they? They might only have quick attack, honestly. So Cherry can probably stay in right now, but they're level what? Like 12? 11. They're level 11, and Cherry is only level 8. And Cherry will still get a respectable amount of experience anyway by coming out. So we're going to switch out into Lola, let her do some things with that new mud slap. And we're going to go ahead and leech seed the Minin. We'll really see how this is going. Anyway, this video is going up on Monday, so we got the bright colored shirt from Monday, trying to get some energy into this day. I just got back from work. It was six hours of me sitting around and typing on my computer, um, which wasn't overly fun. Ooh, who are you going to thunder wave? If only we were a ground type. But we're not a ground type yet. Lola's still rocking out as just a normal type. And I knew I was asking too much when I landed that leech seed on the fur fru first turn. So we're going to go ahead and mud slap the plusle and leech seed the minin. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. If you're not having a great Monday, I'm sorry. I know that you come to this channel just so that my face can brighten up your Monday. Just so that you can see this. Because I clearly have a power of just making people smile. Or maybe you came here because you wanted to laugh at me. I don't really care as long as I'm making you happy. <laughs> but that's going to be the end of that turn. Uh, Spuds has got the Mine and Leech seated. I wasn't paying attention to the screen, so I guess I might have been fully paired or Mud Slap missed. Maybe. I don't really know. But we're going to try and um, neutralize this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, no, we're going to go for Leech Seed on the Plus or two. We're going to get all the recovery going. And that quick attack does nothing. Lola taking it like a champ. Are we going to double down? Oh, we're doubling down on Lola. I don't like that at all. Lola, pull through. Get get this mud slap off. I'm sure we'll do no damage, but get it off. <laughs> you know you have a ridiculous amount of special attack when a mud slap does two damage to a super frail Pokemon. That was amazing. Uh, Lola, if you if they double down on Lola again and something crits, she's dead. So. I'm going to switch back up to Cherry, just expecting that they will go for Quick Attack. Set. At this point, I don't think they have... Uh, I don't think they have any electric type attacks. I'm going to go for Sleep Powder on the mine. And Spuds is essentially just there to annoy the crap out of these <laughs> mine and Plusle. Just going for Leech Seeds and Poison Powders and Sleep Powders. Spreading around all the statuses and haxes. Oh, Helping Hand Quick Attack. Oh my god, Fur Coat is such a good ability. I, I would use Fur... I might use Fur Frow as a wall at some point. I'd have to look at its stats and see what tier it's in. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's PU or NU. But I feel like that would do so, so much work as a physical wall with that Fur Coat ability. Like, everyone sleeps on Fur Fruit, but it's such a good Pokemon. I'm so glad that I was able to get it. When I, I was hoping for the Pancham, but on second thought, I'm happy that I got the Fur Fruit. Glad that Cherry's here. We're gonna go for Sand Attack on the plus old. Just we are just going to be the annoying, annoying people in this battle, and so it's gonna go super slow. Oh God, I need to just get, start going for damage. How much does Vine Whip do? But that's the thing. Our team is not super stacked up besides Todd to do a lot of damage. <laughs> so a lot of times just ending up doing like really pitiful amounts of damage on some of these things. Oh god. And so we're going to go for Tackle and Vine Whip on the Minin. Uh, that'll take it out. And if Vine Whip just takes it out by itself, then Tackle will be redirected to Plusle. So I like that as an idea. Ooh. Growl hits both? I had no idea that Growl hit both. 
I feel like I should know that. I feel like we saw that earlier in this battle, even. And I didn't remember it. But Furfru, who is almost half the level of Spuds, is actually faster, which is amazing. And grows to level 9, so I have a feeling it will grow to level 10, maybe, even after this battle. Baby Doll Eyes, which is another super underrated ability. Uh, it has priority and lowers the attack of the opponent uh, as Spuds grows to level 16, which coupled with Fur Coat ability can really cripple any physical attacker. Lola grows to level 15. Everyone's gaining levels. Now Lola wants to learn Takedown, and I actually am going to rock out with that on Lola. I'm going to get rid of Double Slap. And my reason kind of for that is that Lola has very little attack as it is, and so, in order for it to be useful, it needs to get as good of stab attacks as it possibly can. And takedown is going to be stab on it, because it's normal type. And if that ends up costing me, well, then, you know what, I guess that's a boo-boo on my part. But, I feel like in the style of playthrough, it's one of my best options, probably. Anyway, mining goes for the Thunder Wave. Now it's starting to get mad that we're haxing it and its friends, so it's starting to hax us a bit. But we're going to Vine Whip, break through the Paralyze, take out that Plusle, and the Twins are down. Furfru grows up to level 10. Nice, nice, nice. And sp everyone gaining the experience. I tell you, mining men give out so much experience, and I'm never sure why. Anyway, we get to see Ivysaur evolve, or Spuds evolve into Ivysaur. The, I do not like the evolution screen for Pokemon X and Y. I, I say how much I love this game a lot, but just the blue background could have done so much better. I mean, I do kind of like just the basic background, and I definitely like um, the like glitter effects, whatever you want to call it, like the actual evolution sprite going on. I like all that, but just do more than just a blue background. But Spuds evolves into Ivysaur. Do you learn a move when you evolve? No. So we have two evolutions on our team now. Um, well, no, we're just going to go ahead and heal up with our potions and stuff. No need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, we have one Paralyzed Heal, which we're going to use on Spuds. Uh, we're going to use a potion on Lola and not really worry about her paralysis. And we're going to be done with that. So I also know that the next trainer come. Uh, I also know the next trainer coming up has a level 13 Kadabra, which can be a problem. Um, Furfru, well, no, do you want this experience? Let's see how much attack it does. Ah, I feel like it's almost a shame to come this far and then not take this thing out. So we're gonna try tackle again. Be a high roll. Yes, Cherry so far has been a splendid addition to the team. Okay, okay. Um, just because, before I forget, just because I know that this cadaver coming up is going to be an issue, I'm going to switch Todd into the lead, even though he's already the strongest member of our party as we get to see Trevor and Tierno again. Even though he's already the strongest member of our party, I don't want to lose anything to this cadaver. Um, they're just talking about dancing and hordes and stuff, and it's not really important. Oh, Tierno battles us first. How did I forget about that? Because he has a vanillish on his shirt. Is that a fat joke? I just don't begin to think. Is that like some sort of hidden fat joke game freak? That the ice cream Pokemon is the one that the fat guy wears? Game freak is being incredibly insensitive. But Corefish is out, so leading off with Todd was not a good idea. I'm going to switch out the Spuds for that Stab, Vine Whip. Stads me... Spuds. Stads? What the heck? Stads? Spuds being, oh my goodness, in before Swords Dance, Aqua Jet, Crit, Corefish. It's so, it's super fret. Before I continue this train of thought, I want to make sure I kill this. Oh, it lives! Oh no. Oh, that, actually, that's fine. I kind of forgot I was four levels ahead. Uh, too much, too much competitive battling stuff going through my head. Anyway, um... Now that I've successfully lost my train of thought, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. Probably wasn't important. Was I talking about insensitive game freaks still? Probably not. Anyway, we're going to drop it. If you'd like to continue my train of thought in the comment section below, go ahead. But I completely lost it after Swords Dance Corefish just caught me completely off guard. But now that I remember, Tierno does just use a bunch of dancing Pokemon. 
Good to see you, Macho. Excuse me, I meant Macho. <sighs> it really does seem as though Tierno can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs. Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance team is my dream, after all. I was born to dance, and I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. That's indeed the perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should show as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex, then. It's good to see me serious about some things. And we get the honey from Trevor, which I do have a plan for. I do have a plan for an encounter I'd like to get use the honey to get. But it's not anytime super soon. And now that we actually are successfully to the Cadaver Trainer, we can go ahead and battle him with Todd, who I think Todd can just take out this Cadaver with an Ember, hopefully. I feel like four levels ahead and Cadaver is not bulky at all. Oh, Cadaver, I miss you. <laughs> um... Obviously, you wouldn't know since I wasn't recording at the time, but like a year ago, I played through... Oh my god, that... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. Flame charge. Maybe maybe you do have good special defense. Regardless, isn't... Yeah, can... Okay, cool. Okay, so apparently it's more bulky specially defensively than I thought, or that was just a super low roll. But Todd's going to grow up to level 18. Anyway... Playing for this game about a year ago, I had I do was doing a Wonderlock as we get Psybeam, uh, which we're gonna replace Scratch for. Uh, I was playing through a Wonderlock of this game, and I got a uh, Abra, which I evolved into Kadabra, and I was playing by rules that I wouldn't be able to uh, do trade evolutions. So I actually ended up having an Eviolite Kadabra on my team, and it made it all the way to the end with me. It never died, which. The thing sponge hits so well, and I realize it's in-game, so the natures... I'm going to go back and get all these items off-screen. I realize that, like, natures aren't, like, customized when you're going through in-game. Um, no, I don't want to face you guys on camera either. I'll face you on camera, though. But just the amount of hits that that cadaver would sponge up, like... I took... Oh, what was, like, the most impressive thing from that entire thing? I'm pretty sure... Which gym leader was it? Like, the 8th gym leader, his Obama Snow. If it, it carries Blizzard or Ice Beam, I don't know, one of those two moves. But Kadabra was like at 30% health, and it used it, and I lived with like still 10% health. Like, just the amount of hits that that Kadabra took was amazing. I loved every single second of using it. Made me laugh a lot. Um, let's test out the new move. Let's test out Psybeam, even though it isn't Stab yet, because we haven't evolved. Oh, yes. Oh, I am loving that. We are we are just going to rock out with Psybeam for the rest of this entire playthrough. Spoilers, we only use Psybeam the rest of this playthrough. You can skip to the last episode, assuming you're watching this at a point in time when all the episodes are up, in which case, hello from the past. <laughs> but Todd grows 127 experience. Wait, why is Todd in? Why didn't I switch someone else out? Why, should, why am I not training someone else? Todd is the strongest member of our party already. Anyway, now that we've had a significant amount of brain lapses in this episode already, why don't we just leave in a Pokemon that only has like one health on a super effective hit or something? Because that, that would be just about the next step in the line. Anyway. My battery just died on my cameras, and we're going to leave off the episode for right here. Anyway, if you... <laughs> I like how I'm talking about things that could go wrong in brain lapses, and I don't remember to <laughs> replace the batteries on my camera. Anyway, um, I could edit this out, but that's just too funny to edit out. I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm all about professionalism and all, but sometimes things are just too funny, like someone's dad walking into the frame or something like that um to get rid of so i am going to just keep that the way it is anyway um if you have enjoyed this episode of the pokemon x earn a lot go ahead and leave a like down below if you've really really enjoyed the content maybe not the last two seconds there but if you really enjoyed the content so far um go ahead and subscribe if you could get used to seeing my face on your computer screen Anyway, my name is Lucas, a.k.a. Macho Malga. This has mostly been an episode of the Pokemon X Earn Lock, and I will see you guys this Wednesday. Oh, yeah!